The following critical incident briefing is intended to provide you with information about a recent incident which resulted in a deputy-involved shooting. This briefing has been prepared so that you may have a better understanding of the circumstances which led to the use of force. As part of this briefing, you may be shown photographs of the scene and the evidence involved, both surveillance video and body-worn camera video, and additional information relevant to the event. We hope this provides you with a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know as of this moment. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department conducts very thorough use of force investigations. Every deputy involved shooting is a traumatic event for all involved. Each deputy involved shooting is reviewed by independent investigative agencies to ensure compliance with the law and Sheriff's Department policy. Even as the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department conducts its own investigation, investigators and attorneys with the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office conduct their own independent review when someone is struck by gunfire. These investigations typically require multiple witness interviews, review of video footage, and analysis of significant amounts of forensic evidence. We are in the very early stages of this investigation. Our understanding of the incident may change as additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We do not draw conclusions about whether the involved department members acted consistent with the law, our policies, and our training until all the facts are known and the entire investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a law enforcement officer uses force to effect an arrest of a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. Viewer discretion is advised. This incident began on June 11, 2020 at approximately 522 AM when Lancaster Station received a 911 call from the residents at 606 West Avenue H12 in Lancaster. Although no one spoke directly to the operator, screaming and arguing from both a man and a woman could be heard over the phone line, which remained open for several minutes. The following is a short portion of the 911 call received. Yo, you killed my kids, right? 911, what's your emergency? Hello, 911. Hello. Hello, 911. A priority radio call was dispatched to field units regarding the apparent domestic violence incident. Lancaster units code 3 and 2 7 3 5 6 0 6 4 7 8 8 12. Yelling in the background, tag is 5 1 8 0 1. Deputies arrived on scene, and as they walked to the front door, they could hear the screaming and commotion coming from inside the location. After they knocked on the front door and announced themselves, 61-year-old Michael Lenvel Thomas opened the interior front door but refused to open the exterior security screen door. Thomas was extremely agitated and refused to open the door. The female victim walked towards the deputies at the front door, but Thomas blocked her path and assaulted her. After witnessing the incident, deputies pulled on the screen door until it opened and entered the location to prevent the suspect from further assaulting the victim. Upon entering the residence, deputies came in contact with the suspect and attempted to detain him. The suspect refused verbal commands to comply, and deputies attempted to control the suspect's arms in an effort to get him handcuffed. As the struggle escalated, Michael Thomas reached and grabbed hold of a deputy's firearm in the holster. One of the deputies recognized that the suspect had grabbed the pistol and a deputy-involved shooting occurred. One deputy fired one round and Michael Thomas was struck by the gunfire. Deputies immediately requested assistance and provided medical care to Thomas until Los Angeles County Fire Department paramedics arrived and continued life-saving measures. Michael Thomas sustained a single gunshot wound to the chest. He was transported to Antelope Valley Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Through her interview, it was determined that the female victim had called 911 because the suspect had assaulted her. A white powder containing methamphetamine was recovered from the right pocket of Thomas's pants. An autopsy was conducted by the Los Angeles County Department of Medical Examiner Coroner, which determined that Michael Thomas died as a result of a single gunshot wound to the chest. The autopsy toxicology report revealed that Michael Thomas tested positive for PCP, cocaine, amphetamine, and methamphetamine. No deputies or other civilians were injured in the incident. Michael Thomas had numerous criminal convictions, including drug possession and terrorist threats. 
The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department has begun a thorough and in-depth investigation. Homicide investigators will continue to investigate this incident by completing additional interviews, examining additional evidence and toxicology results, and completing forensic reviews of the involved evidence. When completed, the facts of the investigation will be presented to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office Justice System Integrity Division for review and a determination whether the force used was within the law. Following the District Attorney's review, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department Internal Affairs Bureau will complete an administrative investigation of the incident. The Internal Affairs Bureau will present the case to the Executive Force Review Committee, which will evaluate the performance of the deputies and determine if their tactics and use of deadly force were within policy and met the high standards of the Sheriff's Department. On behalf of Sheriff Alex Villanueva, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department is appreciative of your interest and understanding in this incident.